Hey, it's Paul from HowToPlayBass.com. In today's lesson, we're going to look at the bass line to the Commitments version of the Al Green tune, Take Me to the River. Nice, up-tempo, kind of contemporary, or more contemporary feel to it than the original Al Green version. Uh, great fun to play live, so I hope you can work through this and, um, and put it all together and play through it. Before we get started, we're going to start on the verse this time. I'm going to do the intro last, um, various reasons for that, but... Before we get started on that verse, if you're not already a subscriber to my free monthly easy, click the link underneath the video, head over to my website, uh, click the subscribe button as a thank you for subscribing. You get a sequence of song tutorials in video and PDF format, and there's also a monthly song tutorial, again, video and PDF format. All that stuff is, in, um, is exclusive to subscribers, so it's definitely worth doing. Just cost you your email address. So go and do that, and then we'll get started. Take me to the river by looking at the verse. with the verse, you just heard it being played with the Band in the Box sketch track. Basically what you've got happening chordally is you've got a bar of E7 and then the second bar, it's a two bar pattern, the second bar, first two beats are E7. Then you've got that happening where you're going from D to A. Um, and various ways that is covered in the bass line. Um, the, the pattern I've chosen starts off like this, so the first bar is just E. But notice there's a silence on beat four, and then the second bar. And you get a little bit of movement in there. We're going playing from E, E to D, G, A, G, through third and fifth frets of the E string for G and A. So. two bars. Next two bars are a repeat of the last two bars. And then the last two bars are the transition to the pre-chorus. So we're going to play something like this. And that anticipated C is the start of the pre-chorus. So what I was playing is just an open E. of the A string. That takes us to the pre-chorus, um, which is the next section, so let's move on and look at that. Pre-chorus is a six bar section, but it's got a two four bar, the last bar of the section, so you've got to watch it. So we ended up the verse with that anticipated C. Okay, and from there, so I'll go from the, the two Ds. So we've got some anticipation happening. So we're going down from C, going for E, open E string, F at the first fret, F sharp. to B, C, C sharp, anticipated D, second, third, fourth, fifth fret of the A string, and from that D that's held, and then we're playing um, another D, two F sharps, two Gs, two G sharps, second, third and fourth frets of the E string, then we're up to an A7 chord, it's the last three bars. on the E is the first notes of the chorus. Um, so what we were playing is just the open, uh, sorry, not the open string, the A at the fifth fret of the E string, the first bar. And then we're playing the figure with A in its octave, fifth and seventh frets of the E and the A string. And then the final bar, the 2-4 bar, we're playing A, B, C, C sharp, B, C and C sharp, fourth, fifth and sixth of the G string and then you've got to get there uh, E 7th fret of the 
A string is the first note of the chorus. Now I'm going to play through that section really slowly. I'm going to start off, I'm going to count one, two, and then I'm going to play um, the, the two beats from the verse so you can really hear and see how it all fits together. So one, two. Um, so hopefully the exp explanation of the notes, the play-along section with the band in a box backing track at the start of this section, and that slow play-along will help you get the um, the timing of the notes and the timing of those anticipations. Um, so do work on that because it's quite important to, to get those and hit those correctly. Now let's move on and lead to the chorus, which comes straight out of the pre-chorus. comes straight after the pre-chorus. Um, that's the two-four bar that we ended with, and then we're going to play something like this. So what basically we're doing, we're starting off with an E, 7th fret of the A string, and then following up it up with five open E's. Then we've got a rest, and then the next bar is so just E, two E's, another E, and then two D's, and an A, D and A, 5th fret of the uh, A and the E string again. Um, and then what I like about this section, we've got the same chord progression as the verse, um, but instead of in the verse we've got this kind of rhythm. To um, make a, a, a rhythmic change to, to mark the, the different sections, in this, in this section we've got this kind of rhythm where it drops the, um, the downbeat on the start of the beat. There's two kind of patterns. So it'd be one, two, three, four, one. So we've got something that just gives a slightly different feel. Um, so what's, what's happening on that, if you count one, two, three, four, you're, you're not playing on the one, you're playing on the and of one and playing five open E's. And then you're playing on the downbeat of the second bar and you'll be playing. So you'll just be playing two E's, another E, and then two D's and an A. Um, that pattern then we use for the, uh, the rest of the, um, the chorus, so one. into the verse. Um, now, uh, if you listen through to the song, you'll hear the format with the verse, the pre-chorus, the chorus is, it goes round. Um, after the uh, second chorus, we've got a bridge that goes straight into it. So that's the next section of the tune that we're going to look at. track. The first four bars are going from C sharp minor to A, C sharp minor to A. I'm going to play something like this. Okay, so what we're playing, starting off the first C sharp minor bar, we're playing low C sharp, fourth fret of the A string, octave of C sharp, sixth fret of the G string, G sharp, fourth fret of the E string, fourth fret of the A string, and then B at the seventh fret of the E string. Okay, and then the bar when we get down to A, we're playing A, fifth fret of the E string, the octave at the seventh fret of the D string, open E string, two A's, B, C sharp, sorry, C natural or B sharp, whichever you want to think about it, so two A's, the fifth fret of the E string, B, the seventh fret, C natural or B sharp, the 
fret leads us back to C sharp minor. Almost identical pattern. Low C, octave C, G sharp, two C sharps, and then a G sharp instead of a B. And then the fourth bar, where we go back to A, we're going to play A, G, F sharp, E, fifth, third, second, open string. Then we get to the fifth bar, which is a G, it's a slash, got a slash chord over it, a G slash D. We're going to play, which is just D and A, D at the fifth fret of the A string, the open A string. So it's D, D, A, D, 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 A. And then we've got three bars of B. First bar is the first bar of B is just eighth notes on the B. Then we've got a little uh, in the seventh bar we're going to play. So it's three Bs in the second fret of the A string, C sharp and D fourth and fifth frets of the A string, E F sharp second and fourth fret of the D string, and then you want to get up to A there the seventh fret of the D string. Then the next bar. straight into a chorus and you can go back into that figure. So I'll play through that um, bridge uh, unaccompanied slowly. Two, three, four. So those are the main parts of the song. There's one more part of the song we need to look at, which usually I look at first in the tune, which is the intro. Uh, for various reasons, I've left it to the end um, of this tune. So let's move on and look at the intro. just heard the intro with the Band in a Box track. Uh, now this is the section of the tune where Band in a Box um, lets us down, not lets us down a little bit, but in the intro of the original, um, once we've played uh, four bars um, and get to the ninth bar of the intro, I'll explain that in a second, there's a kind of a, a ascending pattern um, that, that you'll hear if you listen to the intro that goes up in the, in the chords and can't get I can't get Band in a Box to replicate that. Um, so you just have to cross-reference this with the intro. So what we get, the tune starts with drums. We get three bars with nothing on. And then we get um, three notes that bring in the basic groove, which is just two A's and a G, a fifth fret and third fret of the E string. And then we get to the basic groove. Um, and you've got kind of a two-bar pattern where the bass does something like that on the E, pretty much stays constant like that, and then there's kind of a little melodic pattern in the second bar. So the first of these two bar phrases, um, so we're playing, uh, first bar is just open E, and then we're playing G sharp, A, sixth and seventh fifths of the D string, B at the fourth fret of the G string, D, seventh fret of the D string, then back to E. slowly okay next two bars similar slightly different okay so in this bar next two bars again we've got the open E in the first bar and then the melodic kind of fill or the pattern is G sharp A sixth and seventh fret of the A string again sorry the D string again B fourth fret of the G string followed by D down to E, 7th fret of the A string, and then A and G sharp, 7th and 6th frets of the D string, so slightly different. So this two bar pattern slowly. Okay, next. 
next two bar pattern. Again, starts with the open E. We've kind of moved down register slightly. So um, in that second bar of that pattern, we're playing. We're playing two E's, two open E's. Next two bars, similar pattern, but we're going to move the, the phrase up an octave. So that time we're playing E, and then we're playing the octave of E to get us up, up to the pattern. That's the seventh fret of the A string. Then we're playing D, B, D, E, playing the same notes again, but playing them an octave up. So seventh of fret of the G string for E. Sorry for D, the B at the ninth fret of the A of the G string. Sorry, I'm getting confused. And then D and E seventh and ninth frets of the G string. We've just got four more bars to do. Uh, next one. That's a repeat of the pattern we did earlier, where we just playing D B D E at the end of that two bar pattern. The lower one. There's a final two bar pattern. Looks something like this. Okay, so what we've got is the open E's, then we've got on the end of the, the first bar of the two bars, we're climbing up the octave by getting to the octave, the seventh fret of the A string, E of course, and then we've got G sharp, A, B, D, all as before, and then we're finishing off the pattern with two A's and a B, and then that leaves us... into the, the verse pattern. So put those patterns together and you get the intro and then put all the sections together and you can um, play through the song um, in a way pretty similar to the commitments version which is which is a cool version. Um, so yes, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and um, you can work through the parts and play through the song because this is a great song to play live. It's really fun um, when you're playing this live with a drummer and everyone's getting the, the hits on the pre-chorus and stuff. It sounds really cool. Um, I've always enjoyed playing this live, so I hope you do too. I hope you can take enough away from the lesson to put it all together. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.